And tonight, the Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix is exactly two months away, and preparations for the big race have taken over Las Vegas Boulevard. Thanks for joining us tonight live at 11. I'm Trisha Keen, and here's a live look tonight at the Strip. Crews are working to fence off massive sections to prepare the road for competition. But tonight, room rates for F1 weekend continue to be a hot topic as prices for major hotels keep cooling down. Alyssa Bethencourt reports. Preparations for the Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix are kicking into high gear, but as race day inches closer and closer, hotel prices are consistently falling. No, I'm not necessarily the biggest F1 fan per se, but just I love Vegas. Edward Reynaldo will be traveling from Washington, D.C. to Las Vegas for the Formula One race in November. He booked the trip months ago and searched for deals, hoping to get the Grand Prix experience without the grand prize. The most I was spending is actually for the flight in and out and everything else is actually not as not as much surprisingly. He was able to purchase pre-sale standing room tickets for the race at $500. Then he reserved a timeshare for only 60 bucks. He says he lucked out, but believes other people who booked hotel rooms around the same time can't say the same. A quick search online shows room rates for Grand Prix weekend have fallen by nearly 60% at some prime strip properties since prices were first posted last fall, and most bookings are non-refundable. It's no surprise to me that the hotels came out of the gate with abnormally high room rates, thinking that they can get it, and very often they did. Steve Budin is a financial analyst. He says the dip in price point is expected and doesn't mean F1 weekend in Las Vegas isn't gaining traction or falling short of expectations. It's common knowledge that you can maximize your room rates or ticket prices as soon as an event is announced and right before the event takes place. While booking rates are lower, they're still much higher than normal, and the race is expected to bring in $1.3 billion in revenue. The fans who root for F1 are generally at the upper end of the income scale. They tend to spend the most money. So if we can lock this in for 10 years, it's nothing but gravy for our city. Now, Buden says the key data to look for after race weekend is the total amount spent per guest. That'll help gauge how much revenue Formula One raked in for Las Vegas. Reporting near the Las Vegas Strip, I'm Melissa Bethencourt. And F1 road work is still underway, and now you can stay up to date with latest traffic alerts and closures. The Las Vegas Grand Prix team and Clark County have partnered to provide text message updates about the ongoing construction. All you have to do is text F1LV to 31996 and organizers say that updates will go out on Sunday.